Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to create a Microsoft Word document file in your Android app. So let's begin. We will create a very simple layout as usual. I will just name it as my Word doc creation app or Word doc app. So we can click finish and wait for our ID to load up. And once your ID load up, it will look like this. So before we do anything, I will try to show that we will have to include or implement a couple of libraries for this particular purpose and that we will be using from Apache. So one of the library which we will implement is implementation of org Apache. As I told like we will be using the Apache libraries and xml point one point two. I think this is the latest one right now but you can check on their website uh, from time to time they may have the uh, later one and you try to use the latest one of course and we will also use this one to make sure that all the core libraries with respect to the stream is available and this will be 1.0 I don't think this is the latest one but this works so I'm just putting it over here I think I'll just remove it I'll wait for the gradle to uh, sync and once it syncs we will proceed further but I can see I think I missed a dot over here after xml there is a dot java x dot xml dot x string so I have given it again I will wait for this to sync up yeah it seems like it has synced up so we can proceed further and first and foremost before I do anything I'll just ensure that I get the permissions to read and write the external storage uh, memory because we will be creating the file so we need the write permission as well and in the java uh, main activity itself what I will do is I will take this permission from the user so that I have the permission to create the files in my for some new string and this will be like manifest dot permission dot read external storage and also for the other one which is like manifest dot permission dot write external storage perfect what else we will need is we we'll, can do package manager permission granted yes so we will be proceeding with java code later now we will quickly move to our xml file the design and that's where we will put our design. So design will be pretty simple. The layout. We we'll just have one button. I think I can just minimize this part. And this button will probably you can name it anything. Create doc file. And this is the one which will trigger our method. And I'll give the constraints to it. The required constraints. And also I'll take one plain text. You can also have multi-line text, but just for simplicity, I'll just take. It for the time being plain text and I will take this text the input from the user what whatever we want to write in our doc file so the hint will be enter your content here or, or enter or enter the content here yeah so this will appear of course in the gray font okay and we have few warnings of hard coded text you just use the fix button from the android studio and this will fix it quickly that should be quick fix perfect so now our layout is done and we can move to the java code uh, first and foremost i'll create a public method button create and this but method i'll associate i think i missed to put an argument here that's why it was giving red and i'll move back to my xml file and over here on the on click I will associate this particular button to the method just now we created and apart from that what else we will do is we will just create a edit text and this edit text probably we can name it as input again you can name this variable anything I think a spelling of input is incorrect and this I can associate this edit text input to the edit text which we have just now inserted there edit text okay this says person name i don't know why 
so but but i will leave it for the timing as it is but but this doesn't sound correct so if you go here this is the id which it, it's ref referring to nevertheless i will leave it for the timing like this and now we will create our file path variable file variable so we can just create file file probably file path you can name it anything probably by default i'll make it null on the top and in on create itself i'll just create this as my uh, i'll uh, make sure that i create this file new file get external file directory and this i can probably okay these are different types you can use so i can just quickly show you what kind of types you can use so types like downloads or alarms or your bcim and all those so the general types of documents which is available uh, you can use or probably you can also use null so i will go with null so in that case it will not create any subfolder and it will just create my file in the folder the files folder of this particular app i'll show you of course at the end and then you can give the file name probably i can give just test.doc you can even give docs uh, it should work but uh, they will or, or probably i can just go ahead and give docx both will work is what i feel okay and once we can proceed uh, oh, we have to create this file so if this file doesn't exist so if this file path uh, exists or of course it doesn't exist so i'll just put a negate in the front then we should create this so file path dot create new file and this asks me to surround this one around try catch so what i can do is i can probably put the complete of this one or i can just use this uh, hint over here i think this under issue will take care of this surrounding it uh, with the try catch but most likely what i can do now i can shift it to this particular try and catch part this is what actually i wanted and i don't know what happened but i think i did something wrong so this will be the wait i'm getting a bit confused so i think till this part i have to copy and paste it over here perfect and to align it i can just do Control alt i and it will take care of the alignment perfect so now my files is created and now we can move to the method where we have to do our actual work So over here uh, in the actual method our task will be pretty much simple there are only few lines of I of course I, I will be showing up one of the uh, simplest way to get it but uh, first and foremost I will create a try catch where I will encapsulate everything inside my uh, try catch statement here probably I can just put print a stack trash to print a log and now what we can do is we can start with so we have to create a document xwpf document so it may not prompt for the uh, required libraries but once you complete it will prompt so just press alt enter and it will import the required uh, libraries over here so i think it should be somewhere imported i think this is the one which is imported perfect and now we can create a respective document or respective variable the local variable for this particular uh, object or class and yes this is the there and inside the document we may have to create a paragraph so we may go with the extra pf paragraph again you have to complete it and then only it may prompt sometimes it may prompt earlier so it depends upon how quick your android studio is and then you can just use this one and no i think you should have done with the document so what we are doing is in this we are creating the paragraph sorry for that yeah and what else we will need is we will need a run now and so for that what we will do is we will just create a xwpf run and again it will prompt so just press alt enter so if i scroll up back so it's one by one including all the imports required imports you can also do it manually but i prefer this uh, let, let, let android should be able to take care of this one and then i can create in the paragraph my run and run is a place where I can put my text or strings, whatever I want to set. So in this run, I'll just set the text and the text, the string value, probably I can take it from the edit text input. So edit text input will be nothing but uh, get text. 
and I can ex explicitly change it to two string format. And once I've done that, then probably what else I can do is I can set some kind of uh, probably font or something font size set font size. Yeah, you can put any font size probably say 24. That sounds large, but it's it. So these, these are so there are lots of other things you can set. I can just to show you. I won't do it. So you can set bold and capitalize color and uh, that there are all the options which you get in a doc file. So you can play around. And once we have done it, then we will need to create a file or put stream. And so this is basically why I created this try catch. Otherwise, it would have asked me to create a try catch when uh, when I would have created a file or put stream because uh, this this um, Android or uh, Java requires it to be encapsulated with the try catch the output stream. And here I can just use my file or path which we created in the own create method above. And once I'm done that, then probably what I can do is I can write my document, whatever I have, uh, yes, in this particular output stream, the one which we have just now created. And yes, more or less, I think that's all. Now we can probably close our file output stream. If file output stream, say for example, is not null, then we should make sure that we flush out whatever it is there. Oops, first flush and then we can close it also it depends uh, so yeah but it is good to have all these checks and then we can close our document and that's all is what i think we can just quickly run this in our emulator and see how it works um, yeah so over here you can choose any file path so file path which we have chosen is using the get external files directory which is specific to my app and the path will not be fixed where the document gets created uh, although I will show you uh, in, in this particular emulator where it is generated but it, it may vary and you may have to be very uh, cautious or you have to be aware that way it gets generated so it's asking for me to allow oh yes I will of course do an allow probably generally it's a good idea I'll, I'll just regen it once again and just to make sure that all the permissions and privileges are in place before I do anything and I'll just do hello public you can type anything over here I'll just type my channel name programmer world hello programmer world and I'll just create doc file and I'll wait for I think something happened I should have prompted probably kind of toast or some message so that we know that it's successful or not and I'll go to the File menu. Yeah, this is the place where I'm expecting it to get created. I'll probably show you how to navigate to that. If in the files, you go to this emulator and then from here, Android data. And this is the place where you will have the data of all your apps. So the app name, what we have given is the word. Okay, I don't know why a word doc app. And my guess is probably it's the first one or the second one. I'll just check. No, it doesn't seem to be this one. This is something else. So I go back and probably this is the second one. Yes, and files and nope. This is also not that one. So I think this this is the third one. Yes, perfect. So this is the file which we just created now, test.doc uh, or docx. And this is 2.29 kb because I, I think we had just put a small string and I'll open it. Uh, you can open probably any of the applications available on your phone and just wait for it to open. Perfect. So it came up and it says hello programmer world. I think that's the exactly what we typed in our app. Uh, probably if I can switch. I don't know if it will allow me to switch between these two. But yeah, I think that's, that's what we typed and that's what it has come here. So if I switch uh, to my app now from this uh, viewer I think there is some problem so yes so hello programmer world is what we typed and that's that's what it has come up and yeah so that's all so I that's what I wanted to show you it's pretty simple and easy don't forget that the file gets created within the data of this particular app so you have to navigate it nicely and whatever text you type here, it will go in the document file and then you can use that doc file in your other applications. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section. 
and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you